draw this porcupine, you're going to need a pencil, you're going to need an eraser, and you're going to need a black pen. We're going to start off our porcupine with an oval in the center of the page. Now don't make it too big because you'll see why. So just really lightly in pencil, I'm just going to draw a kind of oval shape like this. Remember it doesn't have to be perfect. These are just like preparatory shapes so that we can see what we're doing to kind of give ourselves an idea of the dimensions, how big they are. There we go. Next, I'm going to be drawing a smaller circle just down here to the right of this larger oval shape. The bottom of the smaller circle is kind of in line with the oval shape. So I'm just gonna draw a little circle. This is gonna be the head. You can draw around something like a coin or something small. There we go. Now, if you just want an idea of dimensions, I don't usually measure my own drawings, but I'm just going to measure them just so that you know roughly how big they are. So this oval shape is 7.5 centimeters and the diameter of this little circle is 2.3 centimeters. Okay, now I'm going to join up the head to the body. So just a straight line coming downwards like this. Don't forget if I go too quickly, hit pause and rewind. I'm going to be doing the muzzle area. So it's just a little shape like this. And then a little eye. Now for the front leg. So coming out from here, I'm going to be drawing a leg like that comes round and joins the body back there. Now I'm going to stick on a little foot. Something super rough like this. Now we're going to join up the foot to the head. Just a tiny little line just there. Now for the other leg. So starting here, we're going to be drawing like a triangular shape going downwards. You see what I mean? I'm going to stick on a little foot on the end. There we go. As you can see, I'm just drawing really roughly. Now, another one here. So, starting here, kind of a little sausage leg down here. And then it goes up like that. And then again, another little foot on the end. And over here, just slightly above where this leg attaches to the oval, drawing another one, just coming round and then down. And then joins up with the other leg. We won't be able to see much of that leg. Now for this crazy kind of outline of where all the spines are gonna be. So just starting just here on the circle, I'm gonna be going upwards now, don't worry too much about this shape, okay? This is just to kind of roughly and very loosely show where all the spines are going to go. So this is all gonna get raised afterwards. So we're just kind of, just drawing a really loose shape just around here. Just to kind of tell us how big our drawing's going to be. Now I'm switching to pen, but only just so that you can see it better on camera. Please carry on in pencil. I'm going to start off with the muzzle area. So just here with the little nose, just going to go like this. Just up like this. And then just some long lines like this. Coming around like so. Now for the bottom part. And inwards like this. Now we're going to be drawing some dots. So just a few dots coming down here, coming down and around. And now a couple of lines of dots where the whiskers are gonna be. Just like this. Now for the eye. and then a little kind of circle in the middle. And don't forget to leave a little bit white, just so it looks 
as if the light's reflecting off it, just like this. Now I'm going to be drawing a couple of um, long lines just to show a couple of the kind of furry bits here. This fur here is quite soft, it's not actually quilts. So just coming around like this. A couple more little dashes. Just like so. Next I'm going to be doing the front leg. So again using these little dashes as lines. This just gives the impression that it's all really, really furry. And then the front paw. So porcupines are rodents and they're found on every continent except Antarctica. And the Latin name means quill pig. It's quite cool, isn't it? Okay, just doing this little paw. Then I'm gonna cover it in a bit of fur. So these little dashes. Take it as slowly as you need to take it. Don't forget to hit pause. Lots of dashes. All the way up and we're following this oval shape now. Remember you've done the hardest part and that's showing up today and deciding to actually do the video and then getting out your art kit and then you know setting yourself up. That's actually the hardest bit. Doing the tutorial is the easy bit and the fun bit you know. If it's not fun don't do it. Here we go. Right okay a couple more little dashes just to show fur comes all around here up to here now for the other little front foot that's just peeping out from behind here we just draw the paw on the end and then a couple more of these dashes just like that very dashing <laughs> anyway uh, now for the back leg and we can't see much of this one, so I'm just doing a little bit. For the toes, going upwards like this. Now for the kind of the front, what am I going to call it, hair or fur? This is all really, really soft, so it's just like coming out from here. So I'm just going to draw it really, really soft. Lots of long lines. I'm going to start the lines on this line here. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, there we go, coming upwards. And then we're getting to the part where the quills can be found. Now, I'm just gonna do all the part of the soft fur, just here. So I'm just gonna go kind of over it many times, just doing lots of dashes, like you can see I'm doing here. And the fur follows the shape of the porcupine. So at this point, I'm gonna curve it slightly. Can you see that where it joins the leg? And it curves around like this. So this, the quills don't actually always stand up on end. That's only when the porcupine feels threatened. The quills actually normally just lie flat. And they're used for defense, so they shake them um, if they feel threatened, and they use them like a rattle, so it makes a, sh a sound. And if the predator isn't scared off by that, then they turn around and they charge quills first into the unsuspecting predator. And these quills are really difficult to get rid of. You may have seen some photos of dogs and things who have these quills attached to their muzzles. They're extremely painful. They've got tiny little barbed bits on the end of them, which makes it very difficult to take out. So contrary to popular belief, porcupines can't actually shoot their quills. They only fall out if they're touched. So, um, so yeah, I think people used to think that they could actually shoot them at things. Okay, so keep on going. There we go. Now we're gonna to get to the quills. So starting here, I'm gonna do a couple of the quills just here. So these are just very long, pointy quills just coming out from the body. Try and make them as thin as you can. Now the porcupine that we're drawing has 
but it feels threatened, so it's got the quill standing on edge. We're going to add a second layer behind that one. So the quills are going up to this line, they're touching this line, okay? Now we're going to go further than that line. Now these quills don't have to be perfect, just Kind of draw like a sketchy kind of feel to it, a little bit like that. Because we can't draw every single individual one. We'd be here all day. There are thousands of them. Okay, now I'm going to go and actually not colour them in, but I'm just going to colour in parts of them because they are kind of camouflaged colours, so kind of stripy almost, apart from leave the tips all white. Now I'm going to raise all the pencil marks and if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen now. Okay, now that I've raised all the pencil marks, we're gonna go in pen and just add a few more little furry bits under here. So like we did before up here, we're just doing it down here. I'm doing the pencil, the pencil, what am I on about? I'm doing the pen dashes closer together so it looks a lot darker because this foot's in shadow. So baby porcupines are called porcupets, just how cute is that? And they've got soft quills at birth, but they harden quite quickly after a few days. Porcupets, I think that's the best. Okay, now I'm gonna just add a bit more fur to this one. More fur underneath here as well. And it's a bit darker underneath here. So have you ever come face to face with a porcupine? Let me know in the comment section below. I haven't. I've only ever seen them kind of in the zoo and things like that. Okay, I'm gonna do this hind leg now. And then this other one that's just peeping out from under here. Just a couple of dashes here, not too close together. And the same up here. And a couple of whiskers. Adding a few more hairs, particularly in this part, just to kind of make the transition between kind of soft fur and quills, just a little bit 
kind of just so that it's not quite so obvious. I find it quite therapeutic, you know, really relaxing when I um, when I draw fur. I guess it's just the kind of the repetitive action, isn't it? There we go. A few more here towards the bottom. There we go. quite a few requests for this one so I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow just underneath. There we go, this little pause in the air. And so is this little paw. And there we have our finished porcupine. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then hit subscribe and like, and you're gonna absolutely love this video. So click on it now.